noting down on a couple of words or phrases which you know from yesterday I just you know thought it makes sense. You know, we many of us you know when we talk uh, we talked about a couple of these phrases. Raise up digital traveler, shift in the industry. These are the phrases which a couple of you know speakers had you know spelled. Uh, it's not what about you know but how do you think? Then someone talked about uh, passengers are not just traveling, they are looking for experience. Right? And uh, mad rush of being first, somebody talked about it. Airport is needs to be a destination. So we could say that airport needs to be a destination. And uh, we also heard today that you know, visitors who does not travel may have to come to the airport or you would like them to come to the airport. Uh, revenue opportunity we talked about. I mean, we talked about three E's, right? Um, experience, efficiency, earning. ACDM to AOP. We talked about uh, non yellow revenue, data driven decision making, DPM, etc. Right? Why I am talking all, all this about? Because Metaverse, today if I speak to someone, uh, there are varied inputs. Many people say, why are you even talking about metaverse? It's dead. So why are you talking about something which is dead? Why are you talking about smart? Right. So the question is, is it really dead? And uh, which is not defined actually. Right. Uh, if somebody says, uh, I know metaverse, I have defined it, uh, then probably we should take a step back and see if it is true. Because it depends what we use metaverse as. Right? So uh, for some people it may be dead because they see it in a different perspective. Uh, meta firing people, Microsoft people, you know, firing people who are in that arena, etc. Et if you are only focusing on that, metaverse is like that. And uh, what is metaverse, if you look into that itself, uh, uh, is it really new? It has just come like this yesterday. Was it not there? It's not true, right? All the technologies which is behind metaverse was there from these two years. Uh, be it, you know, 3D, uh, we had 2D, 2.5D, 3D, we had augmented reality, we had virtual reality, all these components were existing per se, but uh, Metaverse you know, has uh, kind of you know, brought all of them together. Right? So I am not getting to what is Metaverse. Uh, in the given you know, time, my intent is to uh, go through the journey of what Bangalore Interactive Labor, which I am part of, uh, what we did and why we did and what is that you know, we are trying to further. So this is the <coughs> focus of my you know, uh, presentation. So uh, I have only three slides to present, not much. So I'll talk more and probably try to make it more interactive. Right? When we started you know, working at Metaverse last year, uh, in 2022, uh, we had you know, a lot of thought process in the internet debate. Basically, any airport for that matter, it's a you know, it's a busy you know, it's in a business of you know, enabling travel from one point to the other point, and this is physical, right? Nobody would do a virtual travel. People come, take a flight, go somewhere, or some from somewhere they come to the airport and go back to their you know, place. So, a business which is purely into physical services, what this business has to do with the virtual world? Was the question? So we. We, you know, we took back, you know, we sat back, we debated and you know, tried to understand better. That will be very clear. So we experimented here. We have learned quite a lot. So that's the first point I'm trying to make about saying that you know, experimenting, exploring and adopting. This is something which is very important. Uh, being part of the innovation lab, uh, I strongly feel you know, we should be you know, uh, like a child in our heart. So if you are not experimenting, if you are not questioning the norm, uh, then innovation is dead. Of metaverse, right? So we sat back and you know, asked the question like, you know, why metaverse is relevant to an airport at all. So when we debated, you know, and we also tried to understand what is metaverse per se and uh, what we can do with that. So one thing, you know, which actually, you know, uh, uh, made us to uh, make up our mind and also convince our management is uh, uh, anybody can create metaverse experience, but why airport should do is, you know, the second part of, you know, um, as an airport, we have that unique opportunity of providing uh, a physical experience as well as you know, a digital experience or you know, a virtual experience. So this marriage of 
physical and digital is something very unique, right? So that is the point which strikes to us, saying that you know, this is what you know makes us a unique in this area, right? Otherwise, anybody can create a virtual experience. I mean, you can create a virtual experience. Another person can also create a virtual experience. Any company can help you create a virtual experience. Why an airport can be unique? Why Bayat can be unique? Was this is the point you know which strikes to us, saying that yes, we have physical presence. And this physical process can be, you know, taken forward, and uh, it can <coughs> somehow, you know, be, you know, uh, brought into this uh, virtual process, and that is the point, uh, the uniqueness of what we have, right? So that unique capability is what, you know, made us to think very strongly that this is an area where we need experiment. Unless we experiment, whatever we talk about, it will be a, a bookish knowledge, right? So unless we put our hand and try out. Uh, we understand this, you know, nuances uh, we are not being able to figure out. So, today I am proud to say that, you know, we have learned quite a lot, we have done quite a lot of work. I am not saying that you know, we have reached our top, but we have done a decent job, right? Uh, I think uh, Suresh who is, you know, coughing here and, you know, he was part of this, you know, entire initiative. Uh, when he was part of the innovation lab in Bayan, and now he has changed his avatar uh, as, an, as, as we keep changing avatar in the metaverse, right? So, that is something, you know, which we did very proudly. And, uh, I think saying this about you know uh, what is BLA metaphor, which is our entry into the metaverse, actually means to us, right? Uh, BLA is a IATA code, all of you know that. And uh, meta is you know our entry into the metaverse. And port for us is not airport. Okay? Port is a portal for the for something which is new. So that is how we define BLA metaphor. So it's a portal to something which is totally new, which is not existing or you know it's to a new world, right? So this is what you know we thought. And uh, other important thing we also thought about is this is an opportunity for us to uh, get rid of this uh, boundary what we have in the physical area and uh, all the regulations for what are good reasons is there. Uh, it need not be present in the uh, in the metaphor. So that's another you know opportunity for us which actually gives a, a very tremendous opportunity to look at the uh, non aero part what we are talking about, right? Uh, this is an, this is a very huge opportunity. Uh, for example, can I even think of uh, taking somebody to ATC tower in an airport? It's not that easy, right? I mean, you need to have AD bar, you need to have valid reason, etc. Et and uh, what if I build an ATC in the metaverse and uh, allow you to do a bungee jump? Right? <laughs> And uh, I will do it uh, through an uh, probably an NFT, right? I will tokenize it, and uh, the person who has purchased an NFT from me or has earned an NFT from me, I'll be giving a bungee jump to him from an ATC or paraglider, whatever. You know, it's, you know, imagination is our limit. So this is the kind of you know uh, limitless opportunity what also structures, right? The 4,000 acres of whatever acres we have as what with its own limitation, concession period, etc. Et uh, this is something which actually breaks this entire right? So, in fact, uh, uh, on a like I said, when we first presented this to our management, uh, uh, somebody told, uh, are you on that? So, let's remember this, right? So, uh, it was kind of, you know, crazy thoughts, like, you know, and we also thought, that, uh, how should this look, right? Then we asked, you know, why don't we build an, uh, since we were an airport and we were getting into metaverse, uh, we thought uh, we will build an you know, airport environment. We will start with an airport environment. And uh, we thought again we will further you know, uh, zoom it on because we were experimenting, right? So uh, we didn't have any precedence. So we need to experiment. And while experiment, you cannot spend too much. You also have limitations, etc. Et right? So we thought we will build some nice environment. And we were brainstorming and told, you know, why can't we build a you know, circular building where aircraft can keep landing, can be taking off, etc. Right? When all these ideas came, people thought, you know, these days are a hype. So, <laughs> somebody got heard of, you know, bungee jump from ADC, circular runway, etc. Et we don't know about that, but fine. That's it. Too much. So, we experimented and uh, we strongly feel that, you know, uh, this provides an environment where uh, users can actually, you know, uh, expert, you know, experience of which they have never experienced. Right? This is this is what we thought. And uh, other point which we also thought about is uh, to whom are we catering this 
business, right? Um, and we all know that the anger generation, what India has, and we are talking about why India is going to be uh, big, you know, in, going, in the growing rate, uh, uh, looking at the demography, and uh, they are, you know, future passengers uh, who are uh, what are the call millennials, Gen X, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, etc. What are their aspirations? What are they looking at? Right? So, in fact, you know, just uh, today before I had an opportunity to interact with uh, uh, school kids who are in the 11th and 12th, right? A kind of thought they have is amazing, right? And they are born in, in an era where uh, they are totally online. They are, you know, uh, everything they do is, you know, in their hand, right? So, these are the kind of, you know, uh, uh, demography who is also influencing decision making of their parents today. But tomorrow they are the one who are going to be the the one who actually will spend, who will control the spending. So this you know generation has a totally different expectation than what we have today, right? Uh, probably if you ask them to go and do a you know manual checking, they may not even know how to do that, right? Forget about going and doing. So uh, can you think about you know, today's trip to sending them to a bank, you know, writing and you know withdrawal slip and getting the amount? I doubt any kid to do that today, right? They are so comfortable, but that's, that's a reality, right? So we need to enable them with that kind of, you know, environment. That is where we strongly feel uh, these kind of environments, which is totally 3D, totally immersive, can, you know, bring that kind of, you know, uh, possibilities to the generation, right? This is all about uh, the the world which is outside the, the airport, but as an enterprise, we also saw a lot of capabilities. Of course, we have not tried out anything, but we are damn sure that there is huge opportunity for the organization, for the enterprise to use Metaverse. It could be, for example, a learning and development. Uh, uh, so I talk about you know, the safety management system or the safety in you know, a very elaborated way. Uh, nothing you know, matches that kind of immersive experience when, you, when it is delivered in a, in a specific format. Right? Uh, the, uh, the learning and development can be totally different and uh, Metaverse has got, you know, uh, very high use case, especially on the education area today. The kind of uh, education we can impart in this massive way has definitely has got a huge impact. So that is another part of you know enterprise usage which we have not tried out, but which has got a you know, huge potential. Familiarization of the airport, familiarization of the environment, you know, the aura, etc. Right? These things can be definitely done than you know in a radically different way than what we have been conventionally doing. So we need to take the experiment on it. These are all the use cases which is there for an enterprise consumption. So apart from the uh, other side, what I talked about, where we talked about revenue, experience, etc. This is another thing. And also the information dissemination. So information dissemination can happen in totally different ways. I think of you know, uh, giving an you know, uh, wayfinding or a, let's say D2D, D2I in a, in a complex environment. Uh, making it as a reality, wherein you know you can enter into metaverse and you can have a guided tour of the actual airport. How do you travel inside, etc. This information can be given. I'm not even touching about the commercial part of it. So it has got a very huge potential where you know we can explore it further, right? So this is the reason why, uh, as an organization, as an airport, uh, Bayar decided to you know get into metaverse, and uh, this is what we did. And what I have built now? So we have built a very small use case. It's not very uh, exhaustive. We actually built the much talked about terminal two. Uh, within terminal two, we again took the domestic passenger journey. So as an avatar, you would enter into a uh, enter into the terminal two as soon as you enter into the platform, and uh, you could you know you could actually. Uh, change the avatar as per your uh, wish, uh, the avatar can be customized and there are some more, you know, you can walk through the entire terminal. This is what we have done in the metaphor. Uh, and apart from that, there are some more small features which is there, like for example, uh, there is a meeting room which was created uh, for the people can come, use it, you know, sit in the meeting virtually, so all these things are virtual and, you know, talk to each other. They could invite people into the meeting room, etc. etc. We also have a small art gallery to show that how the digital art can be actually shown in this metaverse. 
and uh, there, of course there are some social elements since it's a you know uh, it's a functional multiplayer that means like a game there could be uh, multiple avatars who are actually present in the environment they can talk to each other so this uh, this talking can be either through a you know audio chat or it could be even a uh, video uh, call right and uh, we can also do some live streaming or recording in a meeting room that's another thing which we try and try out of course uh, uh, 2D presentation, viewing, etc. Et is possible. Uh, SMS and a messaging system, uh, spatial audio, like as you move towards a specific area. Let's say, for example, in T2, we have a, a waterfall. So, as you move towards the waterfall, uh, you will listen the sound of the uh, waterfall. So, that kind of you know, thing we try out. Right? So, for those who have not seen the meta book, uh, I'll just show that just a two minute video. Uh, uh, actually, right now the metaverse, the VLF meta code is, you know, uh, we have taken it down for the next avatar of it. So, uh, till uh, May 30th, this is up and running. From June 1st, we have taken it down for a reason which I want to talk about in the next slide. Uh, a glimpse of that, and I'll just run through that. Uh, can this run the video, please? No. Please. Okay, please, you know, find it, clear, clear it out if it's possible to run the full video. Basically, I just thought of you know, giving a glimpse of you know, how this looks for those who are not experienced. Uh, whatever I spoke about, right, uh, that is actually, we made it as a, you know, a teaser video, which was also there, in, by the way, it's, it's there in the YouTube, uh, by the uh, YouTube channel, that uh, you could experience in case it is not able to play. Uh, just confirm it's not able to play with family. It's not able to play with family. Sorry? Okay, fine. It's, it's there in the YouTube. I mean, you can just Google it and you know, figure out you know, via YouTube. You have this video, you can actually experience it. Fine. So, what I'll do is, you know, I'll just move the uh, uh, next slide in the interest of time. Uh, from here, what are we trying to do? Right. Uh, these are some of the possibilities. Uh, it's not just limited by it. Uh, the first thing is, you know, the kind of experiences that we can give, which an uh, user or you know, uh, a person who is interested in the metaverse, it, it's something which, which should be amazing now, is what we have now. And uh, this gives us an you know, opportunity to create virtual 3D spaces and uh, uh, assets we can create. Again, this can be for enterprise and non-enterprise. Uh, example of enterprise is, you know, uh, what are we talking about digital twin, right? It can be part of this, right? So, which can be used for your corporate, uh, you know, activities or enterprise activity. Uh, the other you know, part of the digital assets could be anything like an NFT or you know, a land parcel in the metaverse itself, etc. Right? That's one thing. Uh, we are also trying to get seriously into the NFT. Uh, we are very uh, uh, concerned about the. Uh, existing regulation etc. So we don't want to do anything about crypto. Rather, you know, uh, make people to earn an NFT and uh, get some rewards, a function of rewards from the NFT itself. We are seriously working on that. So in a couple of months we should be getting to over there. Of course, the moment I talk about NFT, art becomes part of an NFT. Uh, and uh, one of the key element on which uh, Terminal 2 has been built is on art. So we have a huge opportunity of, you know, Converting the art into an NFT art, and of course, gamified experiences. Um, as I told, uh, uh, it could be an uh, terminal flow itself. The passenger flow itself could become an totally gamified. Uh, we have a lot of thought process about you know what functional element we can bring into the VR uh, metaphor. Of course, simulation of you know airport processes. Uh, it, it's an you know it's a very good opportunity for. Uh, any newbie to understand the airport environment, 
uh, it could be operational team, head of the team, it could be RFF, it could be safety, uh, any team who wants to understand uh, the, the flow, it, you know, it could become you know, one of the two uh, for enterprise consumption. Of course, non-enterprise consumption, we have up to number of reasons and you know, uh, simulations which can be done. For example, you know, uh, can we have a flight simulator in Metabas, why not? Give me five, right? It's definitely possible. So there are such huge opportunities are there. Uh, of course, retail can, you know, is an you know, commercial is an you know, other very big area uh, which has got huge potential. Uh, I don't want to get into the numbers, but you know we are talking about huge, huge, you know, uh, billions of dollars being you know targeted in this economy, the three economy by 2030. So it's a very uh, opt area for us to you know experiment. Uh, of course, like concerts and live. Uh, you know, uh, live events uh, which uh, can become you know, a stream virtual event. Again, going back to you know, my other you know, thought process of why should we get limited by the <coughs> area, right? Suppose uh, if not, I would have built you know, a concert area, a concert arena which has got 500 seats, right? And the virtual event may have 5,000 seats possible. So that's something you know, which is definitely doable, right? So this is what we are thinking. You know, there are a lot of other new spaces. We are very uh, enthusiastic, you know, experimenting all these things, and uh, I think time will also decide and tell us, you know, where do we go from. Right? So that's it from my side. Thank you for your time. Again, you know, just to make sure that you know, when people talk about technology, may ruin us, etc., etc., uh, no technology is you know inherently good or bad. It all depends on how do we use, like what we use internet today. Uh, from a you know, parent perspective, you may say that it is falling my kid because he is spending too much of screen time. But at the same time, the kid is learning something which I would have not been able to learn in a better way. So it's all about you know, how do we you know, take this further. Okay. Thank you.